So what's going on YouTube? I got a, another video coming at you from the RC Dungeon. I got some cool stuff you'll see sitting right here on the table. Uh, something that I've been waiting to get the stuff in to start the build. I was telling you we'd be doing a build. <clears throat> um, let me get. I'm on the opposite side now, so it's going to take me a second. Not just that, Dungeon got a new workspace. I'm still working on lighting um, with everything here. Um, let me pick up some of these screws here. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm still working on the lighting and everything. I just got a crappy little light stuck up there for now that's a battery powered. Because my lights were all focused over on the other side, which now I have pretty much delegated the other side where I usually do my videos is going to be where I do my fab work. Um, like cutting, grinding. Uh, I'll show you in a minute in the video. Sorry guys, I should have picked this stuff beforehand, but I just wanted to get some of these screws picked up. So I'm not losing stuff all over the place. So anyways, what we have here, we get her pulled out. This is a brand new Gen 8. Um, Gen 8 V2 Scout. My uh, wife, my lovely, awesome wife got me for Christmas. There's the box for it. Okay. Um, Enjora. This is an Enjora Cherokee hard body. Uh, Enjora makes... Uh, the hard body for this and it's well not for this per se. They say it's for the TRX4 um, It's the correct 12.8 uh, 324 millimeter wheelbase um, Kit yeah, It comes There's the roof panel. We can set it up on there. Go ahead and do that for the video um, There's the roof panel, you know, I just I have everything mocked up right now. Well, half cockeyed put together um, just for mocking up purposes. Uh, it'll look a lot better once I get everything screwed down. Because uh, I had to come up with my own mounting system for this. And I'm not <clears throat> I'm not going to go fully into that uh, on this video. But uh, if anybody's interested in that Enjora, Enjora kit, man, it, it, it's nice. Um, it comes with your rubberized uh, fender flares like the real thing like the cutout bushwhacker flares for the off-road like for the Jeeps you know comes with all of your you know hardware uh, just a bunch of different hardware and everything all your screws your mounting brackets to mount it like I said I think this probably would have went right to the TRX4 chassis and by that I mean not the 313 millimeter one I mean uh, the one that has the defender body because it's a 324. Um, it does come with, I'm not probably going to use these. I'm going to get a set of the metal scale windshield wipers for it, but it does come with your plastic windshield wipers. They're not too bad. Chrome bucket light housings. Uh, real nice heavy gauge windows. Uh, which I'm going to be probably ten, tinting out. Um, it does come with a already done up interior. Uh, I mean, for what it is, it's okay. It's Lexan, Lexan interior. Um, you know, I mean, it don't look bad. And you could get, you know, you could get, you could get actually two pa a passenger, a driver, and whatever you wanted to put in here. You have to trim out a small section in the back for your shock towers that I'm going to be covering up to where you can't see the shock towers coming up. So I've got a cool idea. I don't know if it'll work yet or not, so I'm not going to say what it is. But you just trim it out. I think it's o OZ Boy, his YouTube channel, and Jose, Can Jose Canseca. He did, they both did the skateboard zip tied to around like the shock towers i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to be doing something else uh like i said I, I've, I've got a pretty cool idea i think will look cool in here um 
like I said, the interior is okay. You know, I mean, it comes with the stickers for your dash and stuff. Um, I, I'm more into like the interior stuff, like I put used in the Scout, uh, than I am, you know, the Lex and stuff like this, which they meant I could probably retrofit the, yeah, I think it's the extra speed, uh, Cherokee hard body, but, um, you know, I, I'm not real sure where I'm going. I'm probably going to go ahead and use this for a little bit, uh, to get everything together and then I can do the interior later. So, plus this isn't too horrible. I mean, I can detail this out a little more. Uh, maybe add like a scalar shifter, you know, somebody riding in a detail out the steering wheel. And like I said, it comes with the gauge uh, decals for the interior and stuff. So it's not too bad. It's not awful. Um, it's actually, it's pretty heavy gauge Lexan. So um, I may go ahead and, I, well, I may go ahead and see if I can figure out while I'm mocking everything up where this has to be cut. So I'll have all the fabricating done comes with a nice uh, grill you know your Cherokee grill it comes with a nice chair the grill for the Cherokee um, you know for what this cost it's really nice I mean honestly you know it comes with all your marker lenses uh, your headlight lenses uh, I ordered a power shift RC light kit and I ordered the um, the retro that's why I went with the Power Shift RC. He does the retro light kits, which will make this look like a real like 90s, uh, 2000s Cherokee had like the halogen lights. Um, Cause you know, they didn't have the LEDs in them. Of course you can upgrade my, my real Jeep. I have LEDs in my, my 94 Wrangler, which is the same, same headlight that they put in, you know, the Cherokee used a five by seven uh, halogen seal beam type light. So, uh, but, um, we got the body all mounted up and everything to the Gen 8 chassis. Uh, it's not real, really, it's not really heavy. I figured that, of course, I don't have all of it bolted, screwed together and all that stuff. Um, how I mounted it, you can't, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the roof off of it here. It will not come off, guys. You're not gonna have a problem. I'm just picking it up by the body. Okay, it's it's on there it's bolted on um i'll show you guys how i did that in another video i just thought i'd share this real quick with you guys uh trying to find the wheels i bought period correct and i'll be polishing these up these are aluminum let me get them up to the camera these are like the outlaw get them out of the bag i have this one open these are the they're 1.9s um these are the outlaw style wheels like they ran your Ford Rangers had them, uh, like 80s and 90s, late 80s, early 90s, clear up in sync. Some of them maybe almost up to the change the body style. Uh, they ran these. You could get Cherokees with these. This was a huge popular wheel for the Cherokee. Uh, so I went with these because these are like a stock what you'd see on these back in the, back in the day. Um, you know, so I wanted to keep it period correct on the build. I ended up going with the um Enjora rear bumper and you can kind of see the mount right here that I made out of aluminum uh I made my own so it bolts right to it because uh, I didn't want this thing you know if I'm going on the trail I didn't you know beating it around and everything which I don't plan on beating it really hard but um you know just I wanted it good and solid on there and not bouncing around and coming loose on me so uh you know, it's, it's bolted directly onto the onto the chassis, rails through here via the original Gen 8 bumper mounts that slide through here. So this thing ain't going anywhere. Um, it would bend the chassis or break the body into pieces if it was that big of a hit before this body would come off. So um, I'll go over the fine details and stuff. It took me about three days worth of um, uh, fabbing to get this thing where you see it basically right now. Uh, actually, probably longer than that um, to get it where I wanted it. Uh, I've got, I like how the stock Gen 8 bumpers come out on it. I was going to swap out to a different style bumper. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that probably. I'll probably keep the Gen 8 bumpers because they look pretty sick on there. Uh, I've got a set of kick sliders coming for it and I'll share all that stuff with you guys later. Um, 
I uh, went ahead and got the kicks, the steel, I think they're steel sliders. Uh, let's see, what else here? Um, you know, I'm going to be painting it. I'm not going to keep it this white collar. Uh, it's going to be going uh, gloss black. Because uh, I've got a family member who has a gloss black Cherokee. I'm going to kind of model it after his a little, little bit. Uh, it'll be like gloss black with flat black accents here. Uh, on the on the on the hood on like the, the, the kind of almost like a hood scoop and then the vents here they'll be flat black the grill will be flat black uh, and then of course your trim that goes around all your windows and everything that'll all be flat black my door handles I plan on doing flat black and then of course everything else will be gloss uh, you know just like a real Cherokee sport I got the RC four-wheel drive chrome emblems to go everywhere on it um i've got to grind this mount down you won't be seeing this mount when i get it i'll go ahead and spin it uh i think the camera's picking it up here let me see um you know that will be pretty much completely yeah i can see it the silver poking out um this will be completely about gone it will be cut right even with the two mounting screws and ground down uh, probably even more so than that I'll, all of this will be ground off all of this will be ground off so the only thing you're going to be seeing almost is those two black screws that are hanging out down here so and i'm going to be hiding the rest of that will be a winch go or not a winch a uh, receiver uh, hitch will be going here so it's which i'm working on fabbing up so i have everything when i paint it i can just bolt everything back down on so um you know, it'll be getting the usual, I love hearing those tires, uh, it'll be getting the usual uh, brass upgrades. I'm considering the trill, trill, however you say it, metal housings. I'm not real sure if I'm going to go that far with it yet. Uh, but everything sets down nice. I did have to, if you do these with the Gen 8, you'll have to raise your sliders on your chassis. You'll have to, you'll have to raise them up. Um, but yeah, there's there it is. You can see, guys, it don't it's on there. That's what you want when you're mounting the hard body. You don't want nothing flopping or coming loose or anything. So um, I got a shout out to my buddy. Uh, thanks for helping me, you know, hooking me up. You know, all the help you gave me, posting that video on your channel and everything. It did help me out tremendously. Uh, I'm really excited to start the paint job on this, and I'm just kind of not excited also because I've never painted with Tamiya paints, Tamiya paints, however you say it. Uh, usually I use all um, enamel stuff, and then the Tamiya paints are, you know, they're, they're lacquer. So kind of worries me a little bit because I've read some horror stories about putting their uh, clear coat on and then eating through the paint underneath of it, so... Uh, does worry me a little bit doing that because I just don't want to mess this thing up uh, Just the time alone. I got figuring out my body mounting. I wanted is like crazy on this so uh, I see why everybody digs the hard body stuff so much. I'm really starting to get more into the hard hard bodies than I am That I am the other stuff now, so But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is the Injora 328 or I mean 324 millimeter 12.8 wheel base uh, Cherokee very nice body guys if you're gonna get one actually the molded white really don't look bad to me um, you know you could probably just do a little bit of uh, like paint these black and then paint these black the vents here do you around your windows and you could just leave this thing white if you wanted a white Cherokee uh, would look really good because it's you know the molds really nice on it I don't see a lot of uh, imperfections and stuff like that so I'm gonna have to lightly sand it to get you know to get the paint to adhere really well um, but yeah I'll go over the body mounting a little more in another video you know another another video uh, I'm not gonna get into it um, now so I just thought I'd share with you guys this is the project that's gonna be main focused well on and off one of the main things I'll be focusing on because uh, I'm really stoked to do this. I haven't done an actual build scratch up like that. You know what I mean? So, well, uh, it's been a long time since I have anyways. So, uh, oh, that's annoying me. Okay. So, anyways, 
that's it guys right there the enjoy cherokee that we're doing and i've got this thing set at the lowest point to where my grill is almost touching my bumper mounts which is what i wanted i wanted this thing to be as low as i possibly could get it um and then in the back you know i just went until since it was as low as it would go up front i just sent it to where it was level because i hate seeing stuff looks like it sits like this like i don't know squatted or something i wanted it to set level um and that's what we got here that's what we got we got it sitting level at the lowest position i could possibly get it on the chassis because that's what you want so anyways i just thought i'd share that with you guys real quick um i got some other cool stuff coming uh, i'm gonna have an unboxing video later of another rig uh that my awesome wife let me get um but anyhow, I'll be doing that. That'll get posted up way later because I've got several videos I've already filmed that get loaded onto the channel. So you got to stay tuned if you're interested in a, in the Cherokee because I think it's going to be pretty good. I hope it comes out good. Uh, like I said, I'm focusing all the mock and everything up and you know all the paint and everything before I get anything else into it because I'm going to cry big time if I screw this paint up on this thing because uh, it's a beautiful body it really is it's a really nice quality body so uh, don't be afraid to buy the enjoyer stuff guys just come up with your own mounting stuff um you know it's it's well worth it but anyways i'm gonna do another video of like i said you can see where my i'm set up here with the you know this is going to be my new workstation i turned the other workstation into a fab station because uh, I really needed it because I <clears throat> this was alone was like three days worth of fabbing up brackets and stuff to get everything to where all I got to do is you take two screws loose in the front lift up a little bit and just slide this thing out so it doesn't take you no time at all to change it I didn't want like two screws and more screws and then I think it's OZ boy I think on his channel he has hinges on it uh, I, I was gonna try the hinge idea I bought the hinges here somewhere I actually went ahead I bought the hinges um, and then I changed my mind. I, I thought, well, this is already here factory. All I got to do is a little bit of measuring, you know, and uh, I really like how it turned out. Everything came out nice and even, uh, mounted up real nice. So wheelbase is good on it. Uh, but anyhow, I just thought I'd share that with you guys to get this build series started. This is going to be part one. And then, like I said, I'll do another how I did the, you know, how I did the, the, the actual mounting on the body. I'm just not going to get into it right now. Uh, I just thought I'd share with that with you guys real quick. So anyways, stay tuned. Got some cool stuff coming. Uh, yeah, I know it's mostly crawler stuff. Sorry, fifth scale guys that follow. But, you know, there'll be fifth scale stuff come later when, you know, it's fifth scale weather. So the Enjoyer Cherokee is what I'm focusing on right now, guys. Anyhow, from Narcy Dungeon, peace.